This is the wee beach. Mom, we'll do a wee bit of beach from right here. This wee beach here is uh, next to Dunry. It's just around the corner. They have Fort Dunry up there. I just noticed a wee memorial here for a World War II aircraft. Bomber plane crashed in the hills on Good Friday, the 11th of April 1941, 5.55 hours. A Wellington W5653 bomber took off from Limavady on a routine convoy escort patrol. It was on course for the island of Ennis Trahull and then turned west near Malone Head and out into the Atlantic. Everything went according to plan but on the home journey the crew encountered some very heavy mist. In all probability the aircraft dropped in altitude to attempt to approach Limavady visually. Lost and southwest of the airfield the Wellington flew over Lox Wally and towards terrible disaster. The unsuspecting crew, not, not at all familiar with the local terrain, flew directly into the Eurus hulls at a height of 1200 feet above Dunry Head. All six crew members perished instantly. In the impact of an estimated speed of 160 miles an hour at 3 pm on the slopes between Dunry Fort and the gap of I hold on, but and the impact of an estimated speed on six minutes at 3 p.m. They said the start would happen at 5.55. We'll go on. Two detachments of Irish Army soldiers from Dunree Fort and Lennon Fort began an immediate search of the area. The men linked hands as they made their way up the steep terrain because the mist was so thick. A lone rifle shot was a signal that the stricken aircraft had been located. The following evening the bodies were removed from the cry site and taken to the village of Lana Kiel, where they were laid out in the local forge. A short time later they were moved to Dunry Fort prior to transfer to England for burial at various cemeteries. In the aftermath of the disaster, many territories or many theories and opinions were discussed as to why the Wellington went so badly off course. A senior, uh, a senior 221 squadron pilot, his uh, name was Tony Spinner, uh, with considerable experience concluded, we were in effect a hastily assembled crew, flying an aircraft not designed for our work and using an early form of experimental aid about which we had been told almost nothing. A miracle that so few others came to grief in that difficult ter terrain. The six crew members who perished on the, the Eurus hulls were flying pilot officer Alfred Patrick Ketley, RAF, ace 25, who was of Russian birth. Pilot officer James Monte, Montug, Montug, okay, see, I'm used to the names. RAF BR, age 24 from Buckinghamshire. Sergeant and a Commons Observer, John Bateman, RAF VR. Sergeant Wireless Operator Air Gunner, FR, FK, Wally. RAF VR, age 19 from uh, Leamington. Sergeant Wireless Operator Frederick Neal, RAF VR Ace 22 from West Hartlepool and Sergeant Wireless Operator Air Gunner uh, Bringley Ball, Ball Badman RAF VR from Pontypool How is everybody a sergeant? So you can join the RAF to become a sergeant There's been a wee bit of, uh, I don't know People script trip and stuff, uh, trying to Robots butts out, they're trying to, I don't know, just different places. But, where's the hills? Is that them hills there? Eh? Well, there's a wee local. There's a wee local, well. Don't be a scumbag, take your little home with us. Give us some buns, how are you supposed to put the, the shit like? Why are you dumping rubbish here? There's fuck all buns. No, no, uh, poops good buns, is it, well? We picked it up and there's no buns. What are we supposed to do this? 
Look at that, that's big stuff for, but what else for board? No, I should have wanted to go anyway. Hey, Dad. Hi Dan. Hi, thank you. Oh, Daddy! Oh, the most of your puppies are snuffing around here, Padlock. Stuffies. Hi Dan. She's quiet. Ten and a half. Ah, she's always quiet, like. Lovely nature. Ah, uh, she wouldn't. She wouldn't chase nothing. No. I'm not going to say you screw pet. I shouldn't be one you die. Ten and a half, half now. You are a very good girl. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm going to turn my boat. Make the fact that you ate shit this morning. I'll keep that to myself. I wasn't sure if that beef I was going to charge you now. I wasn't sure now I put the camera to fence. It's probably been bad from YouTube. And the knee girl, she noticed the camera, she was going to watch. She's watching like the camera after I passed her. Yeah, a couple of horses over there. Hi Dan. Hi. Hey Wapo, we're not too far from Mount Bonkrana. I would never think of coming out here to the beach. But you know what? If you wanted a wee beach to actually land a zombie on, this might be a nice wee beach to come to. Nice views and all. You're not far from Bonkrana. You're away from the crowds. But you won't have no public turrets or nothing out here. So you better be careful going under the sand dunes. I don't know what you may find in there. Might be more than poof, froggy poof. Well, it might get busy too, though. There's a couple more of these places up there. If you, there's a bit of that fort we didn't do today, where they had the training guns. Done it before. It's a great place, though. It's a wee bit of walk out there, like. And she's got a, a normal puppy. Five, ten minutes. Wallow. She hasn't drank all day. No harm to wallow, but she has dry food in her dinner time. She needs water. That's not to say she's not thirsty. She needs it. I got her fresh water. She's not eating. She's not drinking it. So hopefully now after this we walk here, she gets back to the car and she'll drink it. You're not really survive wallow without water. Quiet out here. I don't like it too quiet. It might be a nice place to come in a storm when the sea's raging. So a lot of you see the thing about all these signs dumping? They're not really just rubbish they're stuck in that wall. They're plastics next to the ocean. You should make it in the nudist beach. Everybody arrive in the nude. Everybody go home in the nude and there'll be nothing left behind. What do you reckon, Will? What's wrong with you? Do you want to go up that way? I don't know. Well, that's why I'm on. You got stuck. The thing is, why do people bring rubbish with them in the first place? All these picnics and stuff. If they didn't bring it, they wouldn't have the rubbish. Why can they not come out for a couple of hours without bringing stuff with them? There's ones in the water there, you see. 
So maybe we. Oh, doggy. Yeah. Hey, doggy. Oh, doggy, puppy there. Maybe a piranha wall. Maybe a piranha. Roost yourself, pet. Roost yourself. Oh, look at the face in that. It's a piranha that goes swimming. Nasty. Could be nasty. Mm, mm, mm. Tail's not wagging, well. Tail's not wagging. Oh, that's a bum sniffer. Only have all. You're not going to get butt. You might get ripped, but you're not going to get butt. Follow, follow this way. How you doing? Yeah, big puppy too, wall. Come on now, Wallow. I don't be drinking that now. Ah, don't drink. Don't, ah, Wallow, 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 don't drink. I'm trying to get her to drink all day, so it won't drink. As soon as it goes to seawater. I got a fresh bowl of water there. Then it done reef for it, poured it out, but you drank it? No. No. Loves the salt water just. As soon as it goes to the salt water, it's going to drink it. God knows what shit about coming out later then, like. Aye. <laughs> I had to pick it up. Ten and a half. He thinks that's more sense, like. <laughs> but I don't know. What? What are you, honey? But don't, don't be drinking it now. I'm watching you. I'm watching you like a hawk. Hey, that's a nice wee baby ball. My might, might save us in the sun. No good for caravan, like, because you don't see it from uh, the car. That's a wee bit too quiet for me today. And you know what? It does get deep pretty quick, like. It's not... It wouldn't be a shallow on Spanning Beach. But then the people out here are swimming. So it could be that it is good for swimming because you won't get the uh, undercurrents maybe. But do you think like it is a wee bay coming around? This is something you see in the holly brochures, isn't it? Look at all the wee forts up there. See them boys I tell you. They might come on here in the wee rowing boats of them sailing ships you see and might try and get up there. And so the boys had to be ready to shoot them. Do you think French could have landed there? French could have landed here, like I tell you. Hey, bonjour and all that there. Aye. Right. Not the Peter River. Whatever, boys. Don't know much French, Wallow. Don't know much French. But you think there might be a possibility? It looks like it might be a wee stream coming in there. Although there's no big hull. Do you think that big hull there will be a stream coming down? If we're looking at a wee stream, so it might take a drink out of it. But the way the water goes in there, there might be a wee stream in there. But we need to go just above the tide to get the fresh water. But we're for luck, Wallow, I reckon. We're for luck. Don't know what you call this wee place. But if you look at Google Maps, it's nice to float down, right? Tide's coming in. And I'll be puppy down there. So see if you had a levy a levy pup, it would be a good place to bring him, you know. But you still need a wee bit of fresh water. I say it's not far from Bunkran. I'll, I'll, I'll check the mouse out now. I was going to head back to Bunkran, but I didn't want to go back the way I came. I wanted to do a wee bit of the coast road and then swing back. I might find something new then rather than go back the way I came. But the only thing is, once you get stuck behind a mountain, you may have to circle the whole mountain. Hey, you think is that a wee stream coming in there? Well, you're not in this video again, you're way behind. That's all stones there, that's not so good for bathing. But see if you had like a wee surfboard or something, a wee canoe. You can imagine that'd be a nice wee spot for a wee canoe. You get paddled along the edge there. But in saying that, them sand dunes just wore down there. So there must have been a storm or something to take them away. The water must have got up. See where they're just dropping down. Yeah, well, this is, this is water over here, Wallow. 
and it's running down the whole pit. The tide's coming in, so this water is fresh water, water, fresh water. See, I know how the how the ones and the sailing ships in a short of water they used to come on the wee island looking for water. I know how they feel. Water, 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 water. Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it? Just about. Oh. Look, fresh water flowing down to the sea. That makes that gives us beats now an extra two stars. Extra two stars. Brilliant for pups now. I can highly recommend this for pups. They can play in the wee bag where they're not going to swept away as quick as quick. Yeah. Fresh water here, Wallow. See, I would have thought, if I was guessing, I would have thought maybe water would come from the hills. She's coming from the flat valley. Like that, don't you? It's not in the very deep bit right now. It's so desperate to get something under. I should want to drink from the bowl. Normally, when his wife throws it, she drank from the bag. She didn't even do that today. Does that feel good? I see if you want quietness, this is the place to come here. She finishes price, I'm going to say no, and just see how quiet it is. I can hear traffic in the background of an old tractor. That was a good drink. That was a good drink, Wall. Hey, well, you needed that. You needed that badly there, Pat. I passed by this wee place, but I never come down yet. Because so many beaches, there's no need to come down yet. That's the problem. If you start at every beach, you never get anywhere. And like sand, sand. But this is special because it's got a stream. That makes it all different. I walk on the stand up here, then I know the stones is noisy. In fairness now, I don't get much sand in my car. I used to walk the sister's dog Max. He had long hair. He was terrible. He had had sand on, on the dashboard, sand on the radio. He would come in covered in it, sticking to his fur, and then he goes, he never shook outside the car. He wouldn't tell he's in the car, and even when he came into the car, he made not shook right away. You could drive a half an hour, even drive an hour, and just before you got out of the car, he would shake. Sand everywhere. That's funny, isn't it, the way that's going there? Look how much sand has disappeared there with that sandbanking, big cliff of it. So you think the stream wants to take a wee shortcut, but it hasn't. It's come around the wrong way and it's taken the sand dune away. So to me that looks like where it would have been. Or is that the shortcut? But the stream has taken away a big part of the sand dune. And you think, oh, but see that clay there, like? So the stream shouldn't be out this far. It just needs somebody on up a stream, but just to divert it back over there. And let the sand build up here again because this is close to the fence here, it's disappearing. I suppose that's nature, isn't it? That's the way nature goes, but. The water's just going to wear all that sand away until it reaches the sea. That's what water does. Just need somebody straighten that out, run down a wee tractor and trailer, and see you remove a couple of them wee stones there. The water starts flowing there and then. Things are starting to happen. Mm. Good place to bring a horse, wouldn't it, Paul? That's probably where them horses are in the field. I would say probably them horses in the field is for tourists. Probably come on a horse weekend. You ever see them horses and they always show in the Irish commercial the horses run the beach? This could be one of them beaches.
Ich mache da wie ich yes. You know I love you, don't you? And you know I love you, Pat. So leave that too quiet, wall. See, anybody talks anyone in this picture you're going to hear, there's something else going to the water there. Bathing costume, the wee dog room. I don't think it's safe going to the sea by yourself. If anything goes wrong with her, that wee pup's going to have to try and save her. It's not been very dangerous. Don't respect too much of me, animals. They don't know about tides and currents and all that. It's only lassie in movies that happens. Every thing that breaks his heart barking. See them ones there swimming there too. They're not down here for some people, they're actually going for a swim. Then see, where's the near swimming pool here? There is no swimming pool in Bunkana. They could have 25, 30 miles if they want to go to a pool. The chances are they have to go to a private pool in a hotel. So that's why it's, if you want to swim, you have to come to the sea. Or the lake. There's a lake up near where I live, Murloc. Unbelievable the number of people have drained that lake. Haven't heard of anybody drain drain recently. It's a wonder of all that hot weather, but in lockdown, but quite a lot of people drain that lake. There's one boy there who was on a canoe. Going back in be ten years. He was in a canoe, then he can most of the day, everything went well. And he just decided to go back one more time before he went home. That's it. He drowned. I did a canoe test in there when I was at school. By the summer scheme. Certificate, star one, star one, just basically means you know how to sit in and get out of collapse screen. But I got a wee certificate. I was a bit scared, can you? It's alright, can you? Even Murdoch wasn't too bad, but they took us to the rubbish. It's very scary on the river, you don't know how deep it is. And we had no rest, it's nothing. First thing you had to do when you canoed. You got you were told to bring old clothes, but you wore your old clothes, you brought dry clothes with you. And the first thing you had to do when you went to the river was walk under the river and get completely soaked. And the reason why that was if you're in a canoe and you fall out, the cold water will, will make you panic with shock. So you've got to know how cold the water is. So you would under the clothes and you got soaked. Then you go in the canoe and if you fell in then or just got out, swam ashore and got back in again. There's more water there, Willow. This is a this is a handy wee beach here. Can't there water here, Willow? It's been drying now a couple of weeks. It's like a wee pool there. That's probably from the same stream. That stream was working its whole way back here. The farmer's losing a part of his field as well. And there's any wildlife in there. And that goes down pretty deep there, you know. Look at that there. Well, all those are speech here. It's not handy, well, wasn't it? And the water's still flowing like. So though you see all the green scum, the water's clean. There's a wee fly things on top of the water, I don't see no other life. So you don't know until you start studying it. 
Oh, then you walk on vegetables. That's fine on the beach. Same color as sand. But I can't see anything got on here when the water's moving. I said there's been no rain, so when the rain comes, that's going to be very fast. There's a bit of everything in there. A bit of seaweed too, so the salt water must come up here. Grass. I'm just eating grass now. Do you think this is better than Fort Dunree, Pet? There's another wee place I'll. I was, uh, I thought I'm going to find it. There's an old castle tower in the middle of a forest. I was about to tell about it. It's over near the full direction, then I go again. But when you look at it in Google Maps, it's in the middle of a forest, commercial forest with trees all around. And you have to go up forest lanes to try and find it. I don't even know if I find a parking space. I don't know where to try and look for it tomorrow. And if I don't get it, we go on to Glen Bay National Park. It's more to be rain. Which is alright, because we're expecting it. Not like today. So I mean this wee trip today is a hundred mile. Where have I got? About 20. Two days any old. 20 mile of the trip. Maybe about 30, 35 miles from home. If I'd done the whole trip, the tour, it should be about 120 miles at most. I'll probably do 500 miles doing the stages. Back and forward. But I did want to do it in one day. I should have four days to do once I got up. And the shopping held me back this morning. For the rain. There's no point in coming to the prison, I guess, but it's nice in the rain. You don't see. It's just been missed. I could be wrong with that. Yeah, let's get screwed. Yeah, let's get screwed. I don't know. Maybe this is where she goes home. Pretty short cut. God knows where the bus drops her off. Everybody needs a car to live here. And you're getting yourself a reputation, you boy. See that wee strap there? What all the strap and some home over even? Well, wasn't we spurt? You fast, Bolo! Bolo fast! There you go, there you go. Anybody wants a wee quiet beach where your puppy and yourself can go for a swim, this is a place to come. That wee pup there, he loves it. Come on now, Bolo! Let's check how far this is from home. I'll say it's no more than 30 miles. Okay, so sometimes it's nice to get a beast to bring the rains. But there's no ice cream vans and crap. So just call my butt in space. This could be it. We need picnic. In all fairness, I haven't seen any rubbish here. There's all these signs saying I'm take the rubbish from. I haven't seen any. Somebody got bomb one and seen a conflict or seen a crust wrapper and the whole community gets together. Right now, crust wrapper in the beach. So I saw all the sand go up. Because even on a normal beach, you get crap comes in with the tide. There's no crap in this, it's coming with the tide. 
little plastic bottles and stuff. So maybe it's local to we walk every morning where we buy, pick the stuff up. But the only problem with that then is how do they dispose of it? They have to pay to dump the rubbish. I don't know if person might try and camp down here, but... There's not many wee flat bits for a tent. You don't see many wee bits of grass flattened over there. It'd be an ideal spot, wouldn't it? But you cannot see in the sea. But you see the grass is greener. I can't say the other one's been camping there. A bit of soil erosion. I'll walk over this way. Probably make it worse. So that's the field, so they can't camp on there. Why don't we head back now, Pet? What do you reckon? Is that better? That you got a drink? I'm glad you got a drink, Pet. We have a choice now, Willow. We can do it all better this, uh, this road. I've got a couple of wee sashes of meat, proper stuff, wee gear ones. I have a couple of spare of them in the car. We can get a couple of them to keep you going. And we can go on home later. Or right, we can start heading towards home now. You haven't had much sleep today. I think we'll do a wee bit of driving on. But see, you've got man on the head. Man on the head's a great bit of way. Donegal... Uh, you look at the map, and you see Donegal, you see Armagh, you see... You may see anything in the map, but you just don't realise how big Donegal is until you're here. I can go to places and Donegal, that's further away from home, and there's a bike go to Belfast. And Belfast is the other side of the country. Donegal's a very big county. And it's the shape of it. If you're flying by helicopter, it mightn't be so far. But because of the shape, you have to go away inland to go around a bit of water. So when we go to Marlon Head, that's basically what you're doing. It's the same with Bunkrana. If you look across the water from Bunkrana or Fort Dunry, you look across the water to get to the other side, you're probably chatting 40 miles. Just to get to the other side of the water driving. Could be even more. You need to go way back, go through Letter County. Come way back out. That's a lot further than you than you realise. So to go around the, the coast. And then if you there's no point in going the coast unless you're going to stop at these places. What's the point? The thing I don't like about Donegal, too many houses everywhere. Anybody can build a house wherever they want. Look at that house over there with a big dramatic mountain behind. I can't see that getting plant permission in Northern Ireland. Wouldn't get it. If you can get a bit of field, you can, you can more or less anybody can build a house anywhere. And you never hardly get any places with no houses. If there's no houses, there's no roads. There's but there's nothing. But if you look around there, all you see is houses everywhere. And they go on about litter. Houses look like litter in the landscape. Dotted everywhere. I've all got the driveways up to them and all the rest. And it's not much good for the people living here. If you've got Wayne's getting a school bus, where do you put the bus stop? You won't get buses. You'll never be able to have public transport in a place like this. It's too scattered. Every house you see here now can make a nice wee small village. Instead of that, it takes up. Look at the space it takes up. I've dotted everywhere. But in saying that, it's probably cheaper to build a house there than it is to buy one in Bunkrana. You can park your car outside your house. In Bunkrana, you, 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 for somebody visits you, they have to pay for a parking meter. And that's why they come out to these places. But it's a lot of hassle and you need to have a car. The cost of owning a car down here is very expensive. 
Well, I'll get the rest of you, G. They need to come and get him. Like, find you pack up, Well, Oh, you need to go back. Go you back the other way. Oh, God, Wallow, look. There's no way are they locked in his poop up, that's all I can say. I don't even know where he is. You need to get the snub, that's what's wrong with you. You need to get the snub. Ah, well, we'll go on. Hundred address, hundred percent address. I wonder if they got the good concrete in that house. Has that been built after? They bought some Northern Ireland breeze blocks. What did they put a sticker in my car for? What okay, care? They're all a bit litter. Maker, they go all a bit litter and they stick out in my car there, like. How can I support? They don't see the Northern Ireland registration, like. Every car, they go all a bit litter. That's illegal in Northern Ireland. You know, it's illegal in the...